Okay, I didn't Richard know who Fine. I didn't know who the hell Destiny is. I was actually just checking out Richard Wolf <laughs> videos on YouTube. I just googled him, and he just happened to have done this interview a day or two ago. But I mean, I'm not surprised that Richard Wolf did the interview because he kind of seems to agree to most video interview requests. He's always game. And okay, so the title of the debate was "Capitalism versus Socialism," which is insanely stupid. I'll I'll, men- I'll say why. At the end, I don't think that's very controversial why such an argument is stupid framed in this way, in this capitalism versus socialism. But yeah, I mean, actually, my main take is that I don't understand how someone can be this rude. I mean, you have to watch even the first 10, 15 minutes, the way Destiny, the Destiny guy talks to Richard Wolf. I mean, if you saw like someone talking like that to a five-year-old or, or to a 10-year-old, You'll be like, okay, I don't understand why you're talking to this person this way. I mean, insanely rude. I mean, I've never seen this. I've never I, seen I, a I 30 year old talk to someone twice their age this way in any context. Sorry, what were you saying? Patron- was it patronizing or he used yeah. language? Or, oh. No, it was like as if someone's talking to like, to a, a, imagine idiot. a 16 year old. Talking to a five-year-old, have you ever seen that? And sometimes they're like really rude and kind of aggressive, like you saying this, you that. That's how he was talking to him. I mean, he was just so off-putting. And, you know, of course, a debate. I like a debate if it's, you know, combative. And I actually wrote, this is funny, I wrote in the comment section of the of the video, I was like, so, he's so rude, what the hell is wrong with him? And then a commenter wrote that, what are you talking about? Richard Wolf was combative from like the beginning. And I'm like, A, I didn't get that impression, but I can see the way Richard Wolf speaks and the way he lectures, you can see that. But that's totally different. You know, I'm not saying to be all nicey dicey during like a debate, but being rude is very different and fine. So, I mean, that was just my judgment. Maybe you have to uh, take a look yourself and see what you think. But of course, you judge any debate based on the merits. I mean, that's <laughs> that's the bigger point of it. And I mean, Richard Wolf schooled them. So at first, the guy like spoke a lot, spoke very fast, and then he you could just see he was like losing his stamina and interest, like he couldn't keep up. And it was just like long Richard Wolf lectures <laughs> with this guy just like talking a little bit uh, here and there. Was it? Uh, what did he make any? interesting points or any none interesting? none that i none that i recalled i mean i only watched like 40 minutes of it barely or maybe a little bit longer i mean it turns into a decent richard wolf uh, lecture. lecture you know maybe there's some stuff you agree with some stuff you don't this guy he thought like he was cornering him and he keeps on asking like define socialism define socialism and he wanted richard wolf to give like a you know, like five words as if you're describing a table or something. But Richard Wolf, <laughs> of course, he would go back like 150 years of socialism and he'll be like, okay, here's one definition. And he kept on saying, what do you want me to do? There are multiple definitions of socialism. And this guy again would be like, no, no, I still don't get it. <laughs> Give me a... <laughs> and the guy isn't like, he's not a libertarian. He was like a, a liberal, liberal capitalist. Huh? He voted for Joe Biden or something. Yeah, and pretty much like anything that you pointed out that he agreed with with socialism, he would say that's capitalism, you know? Like, he'll be like, any anything that you say, he'll be like, but that's capitalism. We have that in a capitalist system. So that was, but Richard was like that, you know, you can have something yeah. socialist in a capitalist system. That was his main thing. And then he kept on asking. So this is the part where I think this debate of capitalism versus socialism is stupid just saying it that way because there's no nuance and it's completely like it's a false dichotomy it's never this or that and it's not like that in the real world what is capitalism in theory is like theoretical capitalism is different from like what we have in effect is mixed economies which is a mix of public ownership through a state and private ownership so yeah it's just you know nothing in reality exists in, in the, the same yeah. perfect you know theoretical there is no perfect capitalist society and no perfect uh, just completely socialist society as far as i know so uh, 
yeah, yeah and I, then he kept on I asking it, i love that <laughs> he, he probably wanted to like a five word answer and oh that's a very good question <laughs> let me start in 17th century i swear it was like groups <laughs> first these associations in germany for and <laughs> you're, you're kind of joking but no that's how it went <laughs> So there are these proto-socialist <laughs> groups <laughs> in Middle Ages. <laughs> but okay, I just want to finish just on the whole capitalist versus socialism. So Richard Wolff answered it beautifully because one point he asked them, so do you want capitalist system and a socialist system? He says, right now we have a system that's predominantly capitalist with smatterings of socialism. But he says, I want it the other way around which I thought is a great answer. That's kind of where I sit. Uh, So I really found that answer. But maybe you know more about this, or maybe the viewers can then enlighten us. A, why is this guy so rude? I mean, I've never seen someone so rude. Or is it just I thought he was rude and other people thought it's just normal? And secondly, why do they speak so fast? He spoke like twice the speed of Ben Shapiro. To remind everyone that we've spent the last decade reminding conservatives. And the moderator too, the moderator in the beginning when he's like, you know, just laying out the ground rules and giving their backgrounds. He spoke so fast as if, you know, you you know, when you read something, you're just trying to like get over it, like go through it and then maybe slow down the part that's important. So in their respective fields, we'd like to first and foremost, uh, first and foremost, thank Democracy at Work, as well as Economic Update for helping us schedule and book the good professor. What's up with them speaking this way? Is it like a cultural thing that if you speak very fast, you're smarter? Uh, I mean, I think it's partially maybe to do with the view, like they don't want to get their videos too long. They, you know, no, uh, the, they don't want to make their videos too long. But the rudeness and the aggressiveness and the fact that they come from gaming community, I think that's to do with the fact he that he wasn't aggressive. He was younger, rude. He was. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, say sure, aggressive. Right. He he was rude. Like specific, yeah. uh, I haven't much, but a little. I've seen some like gaming community videos and I I watch um, fandom, Screen Junkies channel a lot and they do a lot of uh, stuff, cooperations with their gaming uh, sister channels and all that. I think there is a like YouTube algorithm and that's what they mean sometimes by like Facebook gives people like um, you know, Facebook controls people's minds or YouTube uh, it gets you addicted because it's sort of apparently the YouTube algorithm and Google algorithm, they kind of favor sort of uh, clashes and then back and forth mm-hmm. and then all oh, and then people making videos about a clash and all of that can help you. So besides, I mean, I look, I don't know Destiny or any of these people, but I would assume that uh, it's kind of like it's the same i do the same like when you know i have a bit of a combative style of when you are more combative it tends to attract more attention you know like uh, basically so i think that's mainly to do with attracting more attention because from what i've i've seen one one uh, debate with destiny with somebody i forget but i don't think there is much substance to the stuff they say so they, it's more of a show for them rather yeah. than, you know, they they don't really care. They just want to make you something, you know. Yeah. Oh, well, well, you know, you said that. I say this now. No, that's exactly what he was doing. Like you're you're, you're spot I, I on. That was exactly his approach with Richard Wolf, as well. Uh, and yeah. then oh, and then if you consider if you think who won and who lost. So on Destiny's channel itself, every single comment was just about how they couldn't like how Richard Wolf spoke so slowly and Destiny spoke so fast so that they adjust the video speed. That was it. But then Just... the video was also posted on the on the channel associated with the moderator. And there everyone was like Richard Wolf, blah blah school this, if this Destiny guy would just listen for two minutes and all that. So that was good to see. But yeah, I would love to know if other people thought that this guy wasn't combative. Like we spoke about um Christopher Hitchens the other day. I wouldn't say he's rude whatsoever. So I just want to make this distinction. So we'll love to hear think, other people's and opinion. And it's different to be rude to a imaginary being than to an actual person. Tw- and you twice your I mean? age. Does the age yeah. ever play a role for you? For me, it kind of does. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, maybe we are because, you know, we have some Eastern background or something. So 
we have there's this you know stereotype of the Easterners respect their elders. But I'm not like my, with my dad. I'm very cool, we chill and stuff. But yeah, like you being especially with this older stranger. Yeah, I don't know. No. It feels like I'm then, being especially like polite or something. Then you can have arguments with your dad. No, tell my dad. No, you're wrong about this or that. But anyway, yeah, yeah, different. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's do the yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Richard Wolf is double his age or more. I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing he's in his late sixties. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I don't At know. I, I feel maybe older, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, I mean, poor, and this guy and was 32. I, and besides all of that, I love the fact that Richard Wolf, somebody who has like PhD or PhDs, I think, I'm not sure, and has like, he has done like 30 years of education, research yeah. and stuff. And this guy with no like background, with no education. Yeah, man, well, what is socialism? Come on, come on, define <laughs> Just, uh, it's it's like Muhammad Ali against uh, me, basically. Right. Or something like that. No, yeah. exactly. Ridiculous. But terrifying. yeah. Anyway, people, please like and subscribe if you like this video so far and leave your comments in the comment section below. But yeah, Sam, tell me about the quickly about the Noam Chomsky and force the vote comments. 